Hey Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today's topic is what's going to take place in the next 48 hours for you, okay? Remember that this is a collective reading. It may or may not resonate with you fully. It is also timeless. So when you're seeing this, that's when it's meant for you, okay? Remember that Tear It is fluid. This could play out past, present, or future. You can check out my playlist for additional collective reads. I want to thank you so much for all of your likes, subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel. It really means a lot and goes back into building the channel, okay? So in the next 48 hours, you or someone is going to offer you happiness, okay? It's going to be your justice, all right? Justice for heartbreak in the past. So let's delve into that a little bit further. What can I tell Pisces, someone a rising spirit, please and thank you. About the next 48 hours. Mm, nine wands energy. Let's delve deeper. Mm, nine of pentacles. So you're in this energy of like, I just, <laughs> can I say this Pisces without sounding like a douche? I heard uh fuck bitches get money like you know like leave this relate like you're leaving relationship shit in the past you're in this nine of wands i mean this uh nine of pentacles energy and this knight of wands energy you're single you're not tying yourself down to anyone in the next 48 hours you're kind of in this in and out energy okay therefore a good time not a long time right mm. But then you go within. Okay. You start to go within. You start to shine light on the singlehoodness. Maybe you want more because you're studying yourself right now. You're studying your actions, how you've been acting. And I don't know if you really like it so much. With the Empress here, you could be going to embody more of an Empress-like energy, okay? And uh, this is like bringing abundance towards you, stability towards you. And it's an energy of um, maybe you don't like the energy. Like when you don't want to deal with these people full time anymore, then it's problems. Then they're like, oh, where well, you were manipulating me or, oh, you planned this. It's not good. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like chaos, so to speak. And the magician here, you just want to manifest what is best for you. That's what I see. With the seven of cups here, you have a lot of options, okay? And they're starting to be a burden towards you in the next 48. And you feel toxic, okay? Basically what we just said. It's like, yeah, how did I become this? You're looking at yourself long term. You're like, how did I get here? Now, in the pre-shuffle, remember, we talked about heartbreak, okay? Okay. And that happiness is coming towards you. It's your justice. So let's clarify. The next 48 for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rise, and Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Hmm. Ten of Swords. This comes to bite you in the ass. It burns you out being in this Knight of Wands energy. There for a good time, not a long time. And that's pretty much what happens to the Knight of Wands. They get burned out. Okay, this is not an energy to be, you know, in long term. If you think about that energy, it doesn't produce anything but eventually drama, chaos. The opposite of stable because you're not looking for stability in that energy. Here's the Empress energy coming in, though. You, single and abundant, wanting to usher in that Empress energy. Wanting to be more stable, more abundant, having love in your life. Being someone that is worthy of being nurtured, you know, not saying you're not worthy of being nurtured, but it's like, as you start to look at yourself, you give this emotional offer to yourself. It's like you start somewhere emotionally to go within and to fix your thoughts, patterns, how you react to things emotionally to get to this empress energy you may be hiding yourself from others you may be hiding this aspect that you're looking at yourself and you're studying yourself huh. for a long time you may have hidden this aspect from yourself 
you know how sometimes you just, um, they're telling me judgment, judgment. Like maybe you judge yourself a lot. Maybe you're a little harsh on judging yourself. But there's an energy of like when you went through this situation, you know, the heartbreak energy prior to this that kind of pushed you into this. I don't want to be held down by anyone type of energy. Um, you face the facts within the next 48 hours. You face the facts that that's not really what you want. You want to be loved. You want to be abundant. You want to be possibly you want to have a family or you want to have more children. What else? And you could be a male or a female in this energy, this Empress energy. Okay. But look with the four of pentacles here. Oh, you could be holding back from this new beginning. Something is holding you back from a new beginning here. You have all of the tools that you need. You may be undecided. Here's your happiness. I see you wanting to manifest it, but what on earth is holding you back? I got to ask, what is this five of, four of pentacles energy with the knight of swords and the nine of pentacles? This is when you're cutting everybody off and you're telling them, I don't have shit to offer because I'm single. I'm looking out for my best interests. That's what holds you back. Your new beginning must involve love. For sure, that's what I'm saying. In the next 48 hours, you go within, you realize your happiness is with love. It's like, and the greatest of all things is love. What else can I say? For the 48 hours for Pisces. I'm on a rising. But yeah, so I'm saying you were in this feminine energy. You know, this is the energy that attracts in. Look, you're following your intuition. Okay, you're looking at, your intuition is telling you, like, look, you know, how long can you really go on in this energy? Uh, after a while, it's just going to burn you out. It's like your intuition tells you that because you're feeling burdened as well. You're facing the truth here. You're thinking about this empress energy that you want to embody. You're thinking about where you are in life and how far you have come. Yeah, firm foundation. That's what you want. Can't make it up. You want to have a firm foundation. You don't want to be in chaos and competition and people getting mad at you because you don't want to be with them anymore. I mean, not saying that anything is wrong with that, like you're not wanting to be with someone, but it's like you're consistently going through this in the Knight of Wands energy. It's burning you out. Patience and planning is needed as you watch, as you study your inner emotions, your inner feelings that you have hidden from yourself, that have held you back actually from your full potential. Well, material harvest, huh. I see you even reaping money as well. This could have, like, you could have been getting money before for sure with the nine of pentacles. You surely were with the nine of pentacles for sure. Single, abundant, looking good, smelling good, stable on your own. But you were in this knight of wands energy. For some of you, this could have started to affect your work. And it's like, as you went within and dealt with these emotional blockages, it opens up for your money as well. Here we have disconnect and boredom. <sighs> You're bored with this past. You're bored with this lifestyle of having holes. Okay. I see you moving towards a new beginning. With the sacral chakra, a lot of sexual energy here. But this sexual energy also transmutes into creative energy, co-creation type of energy. You could very well be fertile right now, whether you're a male or a female, be mindful of that as you go forward to manifest a reality for yourself. But with deception and envy here, you haven't um, yet really found the person that you want to spend time with to remain happy with. But as you move on, you can rejoice in celebration that you will come together with someone. See, partnerships and alliances are behind there. 
So you must trust and know that as you work on yourself, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Horizon, that you will be rewarded by the divine, by the universe, because you're doing the work and you will reap the benefits of that. Moving forward, we have, let me read the bottom deck for you. We have sacred union. So a sacred union is coming together. It says, honor, treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. When this relationship comes in, you're going to honor it because this is what you want. You want something that's worthy of honor. That is stable. It says you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will be revealed. See, a blessing will be revealed to you. They want me to show you the picture. So some of you all may um, resonate with the dove, with the moon, um, with the, I forget what it's called. Damn, I forget what that's called. I almost want to call it a bay leaf. Some of you all may use bay leaf in manifestation. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good tool, okay? But there is like peace. When the dove brings this, I forget what it's called. But it's like a symbol of peace after a storm. And then it says friendship. Nurture the bonds of your of friendship, okay? Within your relationship, your love life will dramatically improve. So it's like, um, yeah, you and this person are gonna be so close when you come when they come in, okay? It's kind of like blockages will be removed, and you may just have a chance encounter in the next 48 hours as you move towards you know, working on yourself. For some of you, it, that may not take place in the 48 hours. The healing process may. And then the blockages will be removed within the 48 hours. And after that, the sky is the fucking limit. But there is an energy of you needing to be lighthearted, being friends with this person, not rushing things. And knowing that this is a blessing in disguise. Whether you know it or not, this is what's coming towards you in the next 48 hours, Pisces. Sun, moon, horizon. So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. I thank you so much for your love, support, tips, and donations to this channel. Until then, peace and love.